Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to mount the IC0370 7 inch colour Wi-Fi wireless weather station. For accurate weather readings it is vital to have your IC0370 weather station installed correctly and correct installation starts at the site. There are five essential site selection factors to consider when installing your IC0370. These are wind and rain sensor obstructions, Obstructions such as buildings and trees may impact the accuracy of your rain and wind measurements. Consider installing the IC0370 outdoor sensor at a distance that is at least four times the height of the tallest obstruction. And heat transfer. Avoid placing the sensors near structures that give off radiant heat. Install a sensor array a minimum of 1.5 metres from the ground and away from any building, structure or rooftop. Wireless range. The IC0370 has a wireless reach of 100 metres line of sight. Physical obstructions such as buildings, vehicles, trees and power lines can compromise this range. When selecting your installation site, choose an area with the least amount of obstacles. If this is not possible, you will need to test some alternative locations before selecting the resting site for your station. Electrical interference. Strong signals from computers, radios or televisions may reduce the device's wireless range. Take this into consideration when selecting the location for both your indoor console and outdoor station. The trick is to keep both the indoor console and outdoor station approximately 1.5 metres away from electronic devices. And maintenance. Your weather station is not a set and forget measurement tool. Ensure that you have relatively easy access for occasional maintenance that will ensure your IC0370 supplies a constant stream of accurate weather data. For a maintenance checklist, see the article linked in the video description. When you have a site in mind, it's time to set up your station. Assemble the outdoor console in this order. Install the mounting hardware. Place the metal plate so that the straight edge is facing the radiation shield and the groove side is facing the mounting area. Insert the U-bolts and then loosely screw on the nuts. Install the wind vane on the mount with the wind direction compass below. The shaft is flat on one side. This side will line up with the hole on the wind vane. Align and push the wind vane onto the shaft until it can't move any further. Tighten the set screw with a screwdriver. Line the wind cups up and push onto the shaft until they can't move any further. Then tighten the small screw on the cups using your screwdriver. Slot the final into place and twist to lock. Remove the sticker covering the solar panel. Flip over the station. Avoid applying pressure to the station while it's upside down to prevent damaging the wind cups and wind vane. Open the battery compartment and insert the batteries. The LED indicator should now turn on for 4 seconds, then it will flash once every 16 seconds. Put aside the wrench, you'll need this later. Install the backup batteries and plug in the indoor console. Once on, leave the indoor console and outdoor sensor suite near one another for about 15 minutes to lock in the sensor signals. Once the indoor console and outdoor sensor suite are communicating, it's time to mount the outdoor sensor suite in the location of your choice. When installing the wind vane, you would have noticed the four letters N, S, E and W positioned just below the wind vane on the outdoor sensor suite. These represent north, south, east and west. You will need to accurately orientate the letters using a compass to ensure precise wind direction readings. If you are unsure about the orientation, or do not have a compass, there are plenty of compass apps available on Android and iOS. Or you can find your location and orientation on Google Maps. Place the outdoor sensor onto your mounting pole or tripod. Loosely screw into place. Adjust the sensor array so that the compass points are correctly orientated. Begin to tighten the U-bolts. As you tighten the bolts, pay close attention to the bubble level, making sure it remains properly centred. Once complete, give the station one last check. Ensure the compass is pointing in the right direction, the bolts are adequately tightened, the solar panel sticker has been removed, and the bubble level is completely centred. Station installation is complete. You can now sit back and enjoy collecting your hyperlocal weather information. Want more information on the IC0370? Or want to learn how to connect to Wi-Fi and weather underground? See the additional links in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.